What's going on everybody? C4 here. Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be taking a look at all the relocation teams and cities in Madden 22 franchise mode. This is always a popular video of mine that I do record at the beginning of every Madden and like every last couple years I'm going in. I don't know. I haven't looked ahead to see if there's any new teams or cities. I'm preparing for the worst because I do feel like if they did add new teams, they did add new cities, they would have promoted it in the lead up to franchise mode. But you know, hopefully I can make it entertaining. It's after the Eagle Steelers preseason game, so I'm gonna be killing the webcam here because uh, to get through a video like this, if in case it has been untouched, you know, we have a little bit of a we had our supplements. We took our supplements tonight, but you know, I, I think point point I want to get to is that this video is so popular every single year. I obviously for my channel I'll take it because especially with how bad Bad of 21 was on the channel, but ultimately it shows to me that people are genuinely interested to see if this feature within franchise mode got the improvements that it deserved. The fact that so many people click on this video hoping for brand new teams, for brand new cities, for a create a team feature. That should some, there should be some sort of analytic department at Madden going like, well, this is doing pretty well. Like if we're trying to get this short list hammer out of things we want to add in a franchise mode for Madden 23, a lot of people keep checking out what the relocation team thing is going to be. So I think adding a creative team is going to be paramount for, you know, the success of Madden franchise going forward. I think you look at the success. I don't play the baseball video games at all. I actually absolutely hate baseball. But for the first, you know, couple weeks of that game being released, I follow people on Twitter that do play that game. It wasn't people showcasing the best uh, home runs. It was stadium creator. And, and, and how do you get stadium creator? How do you take that popularity that completely took over sports video games? You, you want that in your game if you're a game developer. So I, I kind of hope the popularity of that, you know, create a team going into FIFA this year. And it does seem like Madden's usually a year behind FIFA. Hopefully it bodes well for Madden 23 in terms of a relocation or a create a team. But, you know, let's get into this video. Let's have a good time. And hopefully, hopefully there's at least like a new team, a new city or something like that, that we'll find out here for all of the Madden 22 relocation cities and teams. And if you enjoy the video, if you appreciate the work that went into this, hit that like button, subscribe if it's your first time stopping, Bob. We're trying to hit, trying to hit 150 thou here, okay? Appreciate it. Thanks guys, let's get into it. Okay, first thing is first, I, I generally want, if somebody clicked this video and they've never relocated a team and they wanna know how to do it, I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So you actually will leave this video with potentially some new information in case the teams are not what we wanna see. So if you do wanna relocate your favorite franchise, you need to be the owner. So when you start your franchise mode, select the owner. You can do this from the uh, opening menu where you can change your role. And then from there, you need to go to the manage team section, go to the stadium, and within the stadium section, you can go down one here to the relocate option. So what you're gonna do here, is start the relocation process, and past Maddens, we'll see as we go through it. It'll be week four, you now have the opportunity to pick your new city, and then the following weeks, you get to pick your team name, you get to pick your jerseys, and then you get to pick your stadium. So in week five of the regular season, you will now have the opportunity to start a little relocation process where you can then view available cities and pick where you wanna go. So at first, you're looking at all the relocation cities. Um, I don't think there was any new ones. They seem to be all the familiar suspects that we have seen in years past, like the great, who, Dublin. What's going on with Dublin? Why is Dublin a thing? But hey, let's hope maybe there's new assets. Like that would be something that'd be a lot more plausible to quickly kind of sneak under. So like, hey, you know what? We actually kind of changed the teams around. So we'll go city by city and look at the options there. The first team in London is the London Bulldogs. And for the London Bulldogs uniforms, looking uh, pretty basic, being completely honest with you. But hey, this is not going to be a video where I'm going to comment my personal opinion on every single jerseys. I'm just showing you what's going on. And these jerseys kind of suck. The second team option for London is the Black Knights. And here are the uniforms for the Black Knights. As always, because it's the exact same teams as the last 10 years, Black Knights probably the coolest jerseys if you decide to go to London. The third and final option for London is the London Monarchs. For the Monarchs here, blue and gold. Got a little bit of red in there as well. Looks more like a Canadian team. Look like the Montreal Alouettes if you're asking me, but not brutal, looks different. City number two that we're gonna take a look at is another very popular relocation destination, and that is Mexico City. 
The first team we're going to look at is the Mexico City Diablos. Diablos usually a safe, you know, safe team, safe jersey combo. Kind of looks like the Houston Texans a little bit, but that's there. We've done that as a uh, main channel franchise before, picking that exact uni. Not bad. The second option for Mexico City teams is the Golden Eagles. For the Golden Eagles, get a unique, you know, kind of jersey color pairing with the green, the red, and the white. I don't hate it. I guess if you want to be different, that would stand out on a YouTube thumbnail. All you small YouTube Madden content creators that want to take your game to the next level. Try to make this your year like I am. Maybe the Mexico City Golden Eagles can be your squad. Go, go! And that's actually it for Mexico. I thought there was always three. Um, I guess we're cutting back a little bit this year. They took that that standpoint on the relocation process. Less teams is what we need in Madden 22. Next up, we'll take a look at a city that is an absolute legendary location for this channel and this channel's history, Toronto. First team in Toronto we'll take a look at are the Toronto Thunderbirds. Take a look at the jersey combos here for the Thunderbirds. They, I like the look of them. I like the colors. Obviously, this was our relocation team in Madden 21. Can't go wrong with the Thunderbirds. You couldn't go wrong with them for the last 10 years because they've been the exact same team in jerseys. Next up, we'll take a look at the Toronto Mounties. And here are the Mounties. Again, colors they stand out. That weird looking red orange with the blue. I think all the, like for my, I mean, obviously I'm a little bit biased as a Canadian, but I always kind of feel like the Toronto relocation option is the premier pick. It ain't bad. And last but not least, royalty on the channel. Probably the best franchise mode I've done until this year, the Toronto Huskies. Now, if I'm being fair, I do think the Huskies probably have the worst jerseys out of the three options here for Toronto, but they're so iconic. I can just see right now P.L. Mullins running up and down the field in those threads right there. Next up is Charles Barkley's favorite city, San Antonio. First up, we'll take a look at the San Antonio Dreadnoughts. Dreadnoughts here, got kind of like a military looking blue yellow, got a little bit of gray there. Cool, look at it. Eh, not really, kind of lame. We'll now take a look at the San Antonio Express. And look at the Express, I mean, I'm a sucker for orange. Jerseys aren't bad. And I thought I was saving the best for last with the San Antonio Marshals. They were one of our relocation teams, I think, two years ago. And they're actually just not in the game again. So, trimming relocation cities. Okay. Much like San Antonio, just what the NFL needs, another team in Florida. Let's take a look at Orlando. We will take a look here at the Orlando Orbits. Orbits bringing in some... Real middle of the mall looking jerseys here. The second team in Orlando is the Orlando Sentinels. Even though I picked the Sentinels, it's giving me the orbits again. Let's try this again here. Okay, let's try this again. We're gonna go over, over, Sentinels, confirm. There we go. Uh, all right, wish we were staying on the orbits. Jerseys kind of suck. I guess that one maybe is the best. I don't know. They're all pretty bad. If you're moving a team to Orlando to be the Sentinels, do something else. And the final team in Orlando is the Orlando Wizards. Wizards giving you that, you know, a little bit of Vikings, a little bit of Lakers vibes. But let's be honest, that there could have told me that's like some sort of retro throwback Vikings jersey. I would have believed you. So if you're a closet Vikings fan... You could just be the Orlando Wizards. We now are going to take a look at Salt Lake City, where they have three teams, the Elks, the Flyers, and the Pioneers. We'll take a look at the Salt Lake City Elks first. Right here, the Elks uniform combos, yellow, a little bit of blue, some white there. Not going to lie, not a lot of variance between all of these jerseys. It's a pass from me, dog. In the words of the great Randy Jackson. Next up, we'll take a look at the Salt Lake Flyers. I love the reasoning to why the Flyers is an option here. Not, not the Philadelphia Flyers, not the historic hockey team, but the Flyers. The Flyers got a good amount of votes from the Salt Lake City fans. That's why it's an option. AKA, we couldn't think of three good teams that were related to the state of Utah. 
All right, jerseys look exactly the same as like probably two of the other jerseys I think I've seen already. Yeah, pass. The final option for Salt Lake City are the Pioneers. And here are the Pioneers uniforms. Pretty much just like some really bad Cleveland Brown concepts. Three teams in New York. Sure. I mean, actually, this could be the only team that's actually in New York. We have Brooklyn, and they have three options. The Beats, the Bulls, and the Barons. I see now. I guess it's going to be the fourth team. The Bills are also in New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's take a look at the Beats, who are, I think, back in, like, bad in 11 or 12 or something like that. Like, our first relocation franchise on the channel. I bet you they've changed a lot since, you know, I was in high school. These are the jerseys, yep. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they remain the same. I think those are the ones we rocked. They're getting like heavy TCU vibes. I think this was the first series that like we had like Tom Savage became a channel legend. So there you go, Brooklyn Beats. The second option for Brooklyn are the Brooklyn Bulls. Jersey options for the Bulls. So it's like kind of the Chargers, I, I suppose. I don't know, I can definitely see some people digging that. And the final option for Brooklyn is the Brooklyn Barons. I actually don't hate that logo. That's a clean logo. But unfortunately for the Brooklyn Barons, their jerseys are horrific. They really got like, you know, puke green. Eh, like kind of Michigan, I get like a Mich like a Michigan mix with puke. It's kind of what we got here with the Brooklyn Barons. All right, just give me a sec here. I need to go have a, another bowl of lettuce. Nice salad, extra hard, if you know what I'm saying. All right, I fell asleep. It's later, let's finish this. Don't wanna quit. Okay. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, where the f were we? Memphis, Memphis. The first Memphis team we're looking at are the Hounds. Not the Browns, the Hounds. And the uniforms we got here are, let's be honest, pretty hideous. The next thing we're gonna look at are the Memphis Egyptians for all those pyramids and deserts that are in Memphis, Tennessee. All right, jerseys. I remember these jerseys. These are like a weird jersey. I don't hate them, but they're clearly like not good looking. Like that there looks like the, the retro. Like that looks like the, the the printing of like a VCR cassette tape logo right there. Memphis, Memphis Egyptians. Ladies and gentlemen, I repeat, for the Memphis city, they came up with Egyptians. And the final Memphis team, the Memphis Steamers. And here are your jerseys there. Kind of look like the Black Knights jerseys, colors and stuff like that. There's like Ohio State, if you kind of want. I don't hate it. Um, so the next city is Chicago. Don't have one of those yet. Chicago football team, come on. First up for Chicago are the Chicago Blues. Man, it said on that too before, it's like, Name the blues because people think of the color blue when they think of Chicago. I think of not blue. I would say the red, the bulls, orange, the bears, not blue. Now we have Cougars who the game outright tells you that this is a terrible team option. Chicago Cougars. Might as well just come and be like, all right, we're going to have ah, team two here for Chicago. Let's make them the Chicago Bigger Bears. Actually, instead of Bigger Bears, we actually have Bigger Cats as an option because it's the Tigers. All right, here are the Chicago Tigers. I'm pretty sure if you pick this team, you're going to get a cease and desist from the Cincinnati Bengals organization. Next city is Sacramento, California. Much like a lot of these locations, yes, exactly what we need. Another five teams in one state situation. First up for Sacramento are the Condors. 
The jerseys for the Condors, not bad at all. Purple, get a little bit of gray there, some white. It goes well together, not too much like Minnesota-y, which is good. All right, next up, we have our second cease and desist being handed out here for the relocation teams as the Niners would be pretty upset if another California team went as the Miners. So here are the jerseys for the Sacramento Miners. We find there actually was like a cease and desist. Like, no, 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 no. We're the Miners, like, you know, underage people, people that can't vote, rent a car, or drink beer. We're the Sacramento underage Miners. And the final option for Sacramento is the Redwoods. And uniforms for the Redwoods are, let's be honest, brown and green. You look like, you know what you look like. Let's add a third team to the state of Ohio, right? Browns, Bengals, yeah, sure. Let's add the Aviators, Caps, or Explorers. Here's a look at the Columbus Aviators. Here are the options for the Columbus Panthers. I mean, Aviators, sorry. The second option for Columbus is the Columbus Caps. Here are the jerseys for the Columbus Caps. Pretty basic jerseys. Got like Patriot colors. Finally, we have a team, I can't remember what Madden was, Madden 20, we use as one of our relocation squads, the Columbus Explorers. And here are the jerseys. Jerseys, obviously, pretty much a lot of Kansas City Chief inspirations for it. But I do think, overall, from a jersey and logo standpoint, while it's annoying, a third team in Ohio, Columbus Explorers, one of the better relocation options from a branding aspect. The next city we'll take a look at is Portland, Oregon. We'll take a look at the Portland Lumberjacks first. And the jersey for the Lumberjacks. I mean, I'm not going to lie. This almost sounds like this would be like a Canadian team. They should have put this in Toronto. Eh. Brown. Yeah, brown jerseys? The second option for Portland is the Portland River Hogs. There are the jerseys. Pretty, pretty basic looking. Looks like... The uh, Toronto Argonauts up here in the CFL. And last but not least, we have another former relocation city on the channel in the Portland Snowhawks. Their jerseys are always on point. Probably the best relocation jerseys, I think, in Madden for the last couple of years. So, I don't know, man. It's kind of like, like a Tennessee Volunteers alternate. I don't know. Something just about the gray and that orange does it for me. That's why I always... I think I've actually done them twice for relocation franchise. So if you want something popular, you want to check them out, Go Portland Snowhawks. Okay, going back to Texas. This time it's Austin with Joe Rogan. And we're going to take a look at the Bats, Armadillos, and Desperados. First up, we'll take a look at the Austin Armadillos. Jerseys for the Armadillos. Kind of look like 49ers alternates. All right, we have the Austin Bats. Because Bats are found all over Austin and are one of the city's most popular attractions. Yes. A lot of people go to Austin to see bats. Didn't know that as a Canadian. Good to know. All right, and here are the bats. Not surprising you can go with the dark look. Because if bats are so popular in Austin, probably a lot of your fan base is part vampire. And the final option for Austin is the Austin Desperados. And the uniform is kind of, you know, Ohio State-y. I think there's another team that's kind of like this too, but I mean, I don't hate it. Solid. And now we're going to take a look at the most obscure relocation option. I have no idea why it's been included, but it's been here for years, is Dublin, Ireland. First up, we'll go with the Celtic Warriors, which is always one of the best logos for a relocation team. Here are the jerseys, green and black. Not overly impressive. For such a cool logo, kind of disappointed that jerseys are so basic. Next up, we have the Dublin Antlers, which is weird. And then literally the explanation. Weird name, but Ireland is a wild country. Awesome. Awesome backstory. I know. Now now I know when I think of wild things, I'm supposed to be thinking, at least in Maddox's way of thinking. Antlers. If you think of the wildest thing you've ever seen, always consider antlers as being on that short list. And the final option for Dublin is the Dublin Shamrocks. Great name. Pretty solid logo. And you'll go to the jerseys, get some Miami Hurricanes vibes for sure. Like, I think if I ever do a relocation, it might give me some sort of a stream this year. I might just go for, like, just the aesthetics, the Dublin Shamrocks. 
Next up, we're gonna take another Texas option in Houston. First up, we're gonna take a look at the Houston Gunners. All right, Montreal Canadiens. That's what we're going for. We also have an option, the Houston Voyagers. Houston Voyagers jerseys. Kinda, I don't know. Kinda, I don't know, that's the best I could say. If you like yellow, maybe they're for you. And the final option in Houston is the Houston Oilers. Always a really solid go-to if you're not too sure about where you want to relocate your franchise. Got options here to kind of go with a, uh, you know, prototype of what the Oilers could look like today. But absolutely go classic Oilers uniform. Don't mess this one up. Just go with these ones. The next relocation option is probably one of the better straight up cities that you would want to have a relocation option to. And that is Oklahoma City. The first option for Oklahoma City are the Bisons. Here's a look at the Bisons uniforms. Give me a little bit of like a Boise State, Blue Mountain State vibe. And I'm pretty sure I have done a Bisons relocation at some point in this channel's history. Next up, we'll take a look at the Oklahoma City Nighthawks. For the Nighthawks here, purple and orange. Kind of clemson -y, I guess, but that ain't bad. Nothing wrong with it. And lastly, we have the Oklahoma City Lancers. Here are the uniforms, not bad. Solid, solid color, solid pairing, nothing too flashy. Little Arizona Cardinal-y. Now we'll take a look at another California option in San Diego, bringing football back there. First up, we have the Aftershocks. Nothing like naming your team after a potential environmental disaster. Here's a look at the jerseys, not bad. Especially if you like yellow. Sand out. Pops. We also have the San Diego Crusaders. And here are the jerseys for that. So it's Pittsburgh meets Iowa Hawkeyes. And the final option is the San Diego Red Dragons. And the jerseys for the Red Dragons. Very red. Very red. Look like the, the team from the longest yard. Then we finish with the last two cities, not having any rebranding options anyway. So if you move your team, you have to, like I'm the Jags, I'd have to be the Oakland Jaguars. Or if I wanted to go to St. Louis, I'd have to be the St. Louis Jaguars. So that is it, fellas. That is every relocation team and city available in Madden 22 franchise mode. And uh, I will say, for saving you guys all this time, this took... Very long process, very tedious. I just asked for a like, a subscribe if it's your first time stopping by. And as you would have seen now in conclusion, there doesn't appear to be any new cities. Doesn't appear to be any new teams and or assets added into the relocation process so far in Madden 22 franchise. I mean, they are making quite the big deal out of Madden is now a live service. And that includes franchise mode. Come on, give us... Give us something new. I would say, hey, come on, cut, throw a couple cities our way. Hype that up. That would be something that would buy you some pretty good faith, I think, with the franchise community because this is a massive feature. This is absolutely, I think, with maybe even like the trade system and maybe, you know, expanding on the actual draft itself, not necessarily just the scouting. Uh, I do think rebranding slash create a team is, is going to go into Madden 23 as one of, if not the very top of the list. I would say adding coaching carousel, like flushing out the current staff management would probably top of the list for me. But number two would absolutely be a creative team type function, especially again, when we right at the very beginning of this video, talked about it, man. The baseball video game was killing it. All eyes were on the baseball video game for the stadium creator. And, and I don't think, you know, for anybody that was paying attention, if you are a big, you know, decision maker for Madden, they, you know, they would see that. It's like, we want some of that. We want that. We want our fan base to do that. Look at all the clicks. Look at all the data, you know. But uh, that'll do it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, if you're first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button for saving you the work. Let me know in the comments what is your, even though it's all repeats, it's all copy and paste, what is your favorite relocation team and city? Leave that in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.